Soil is an incredibly important natural resource. Soil is made from minerals, organic material, water, and gases. The minerals in soil come from rocks. Weathering breaks down rocks into smaller and smaller pieces. When we talk about organic materials, we're talking about materials that came from living things. The organic material in soil comes from decomposing and decaying organisms. When plants and animals die, they're broken down and become a part of the soil, and those nutrients are absorbed and used by living plants to grow. The rock that soil is made from affects many of the soil's properties, and this includes the color of the soil. So one of the reasons soils can be different colors is because they can contain different minerals from different types of rocks. Different types of soils have different textures. The large grains in sand make it feel rough and gritty, while silt and clay have smaller grains and actually feels smooth when you run it through your fingers. The ability to retain water is an important property of soil. When we talk about water retention, we're talking about how much water the soil holds onto, and this directly affects plant growth. On the right, you can see a simple experimental investigation that we can use to determine how much water a certain type of soil retains. So we can determine how much water is retained by the soil by measuring the amount of water that drains from the soil. So in this experimental investigation, we've poured equal amounts of water into four different types of soil. Some soils retain more water than others. And the soil that retains the most is the one that drains the least. In this investigation, clay retains the most water. Clay is holding on to most of the water, so very little water is draining into the beaker. The sand retains the least amount of water. That's because most of the water has passed right through the sand and gone into the beaker. Plants are adapted to grow in specific conditions, but some soils support the growth of a wide variety of plants. So some plants are adapted to grow in sandy soils that don't hold a lot of water. Other plants are adapted to grow in soils like clay that holds onto lots of water. But when we get potting soil, that's usually a form of loam, which just means it's a mixture of lots of different types of soils. And so because it's a mixture of different types of soils, it can support a variety of plant growth. So I hope this video has helped you understand soils a little better. Keep up the great work, and I'll see you next time.